Well, welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl and I. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, coming in for this week's Green Leaf. Yeah. They never disappoint. I don't care. Even if it's a slow weekend, they never disappoint. They never but disappoint. before we get into this episode of what we about to talk about here, we have reached 12,000 subscribers. I honestly didn't know when it happened. I had just found out a couple weeks ago that we were at 11,000 because yeah. I don't ever look. And then we don't hit 12,000. 12 so give years. you all, give yourselves we a appreciate round it, man. of applause because that's all y'all. They ain't got nothing yeah. to do with us. But if you have not joined Calvary, which means you're not in that 12,000 number, yeah. go ahead and hit that subscribe button. All of the new member packets have gone out in the mail. If you ain't get yours, your address was wrong. Um, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button or thumbs down. Doesn't even matter at this point. You already been counted. Yes, indeed. Okay. The and day and before we get started, for we won't forget, we want to wish all y'all oh, a yeah. happy Thanksgiving to you and your family. Enjoy. Eat all the foods you want to eat. And then get on the treadmill. Exactly. And burn <laughs> it off the next better. day. We don't know if we'll be on camera next week because we know Empire ain't coming on, but we don't know about Greenlit. So we just going to put And more than likely, there. we're not going to be here. So, but we'll see. So happy we'll holidays. Because we're hosting this year again. Yeah. That was thrown on me at the last minute. Yeah, but like yesterday. Cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when I say last year, all my family was like, oh, we had it at Charles last year. We want to have it at Charles again this year. That's cool with me. Yeah, I ain't, got to, I ain't got to go nowhere. I can eat and, and take, right and take a couple of steps and I'm in my bed. Hello. Hey. So, we're going to come off for the tail end of what happened last week. Uh, Mama, is lying on my daddy? I don't know, Gigi. So, they kept on and she ended up following her mama all the way through the Jago church. Mama is lying on my dad. So then here come Miss um Manipulator. That's what I'm gonna say, the manipulator. Yeah. You know what, Gigi? If you're gonna go up and down the halls of the church telling everybody in my business or how your mother doesn't know who the father of her child is, then go ahead and do so. Save me out of this misery of what your father has already done. And I'm trying to come up on the shadows all just just go ahead and save me. Save me. I said, Gigi, you know that was a manipulation tactic, right? That yeah. was a crackhead move. Exactly. And you fell for it. And you fell for it. Tell me, some Mama, I would never do that to you. You should? Yeah. You should? Because she would have put your skin on for sure. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> she would have told everybody, Gigi, run around here and don't know who her baby daddy is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. she would have did it. And now she up in the pulpit acting like her skin don't stink. That's what she would have did to her daughter. She would have been watching her do it. So, basically... Mr. Bates escapes. He realizes now, listen, the plan that me and Coochie Cross had going on, we need to hurry up and get her, me, and my wife out of God doing Dodge yeah. because she is the weakest link. So he ended up going over to the house. Now, we got Coochie Cross watching over Keisha Cole's skank, making sure that she don't do nothing, don't talk to nobody, none of that. So when he gets back to the house, he's like, listen, where is that money? That I told you I needed so that we can get on up out of here and do what we need to do. Ro was like, um, we were supposed to use that money for A, Y, A, A, B, C, all the way to yeah, Y and Z. Yeah, take care of that, that joke that whooped your tail. That's what the both been doing with the money. And, um, basically was like, no, 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 change the plans. <clears throat> we gonna have to live off of this money. We need to flee to Mexico. I said... Uh. Here we go. <laughs> Everybody, you, you trying to go over Mexico and they trying to get over here, you better... Donald Trump ain't gonna lie. No, he wants you to go over there. But anyway, <laughs> so they realized, listen, it's time to go ahead and get out of Dodge. But basically went ahead and went ahead of them because he was like, you know what, well, y'all take it too long. You get my wife skipped together, pack her a bag, and meet me at the spot where it was like somewhere near some, a raceway. Some, some, some hotel in there. That's something like tap hand. <laughs> <laughs> it did. <laughs> that was up to go. <laughs> so, uh, so he went on and went, up, went ahead of them, which left them two in the house. Then Miss Coochie Cross got this telephone call. And I said, okay. It's like, Coralie. I was like, why she called it, man? She called it, was like, listen, my kids are in foster care. They're not doing well. I need, I have the address. I need you to help me go get my God darn kids. You the only person I trust with this kind of information. Gigi don't have my back like you guys. She don't understand the struggle of what's going on. You know how it is basically <laughs> of how it was to be in foster care. I need you to help me. And I'm sitting here like, 
Okay. This ain't this really ain't making a lot of this sense. This ain't making a lot whole lot of sense. Yeah. But at the same time I said something is up with this guy doing phone call. Hmm. So we later see Jacob and Gigi, they're sitting outside of this house. And I said, Well, who's house? Yeah, they're staking it out. Staking it out real good. <laughs> and all of a sudden, here come Kusha Cross, pull up in her vehicle, and she got who with her? Keisha Cole Skank. So the both of them looking at each other like, is that Tasha? What the yeah. Fuck? And I mean, and she got her in a real hemmed up hostage situation. Yeah. I mean, all up and up in a back area and all of that. So they're looking at this. So they knock on the door and Coraline let them in. And basically, not even 10 minutes after they were sitting there having a conversation with Coraline, there's a knock on the door. It's Jacob and Gigi. To the rescue. It's all a freaking setup, y'all. Yep. Listen. I said so that was brilliant. Man. It was brilliant. The very thing that took, well, it didn't really take her down the first time, but the very thing that gave Gigi the information that she needed yep. to uncrack the case of who Rochelle Cross really was, yeah. was the very thing that allowed them to get in that house yep. and actually save the freaking day. Found so they that were, spot in her heart that she couldn't refuse. So they were able to get in the house and basically they snatched Keisha Cole's game <laughs> away from Coochie Cross. So Coochie Cross went ahead and left up out of there and I said, y'all really just started to leave like that without a struggle? You know her brother crazy as hell. He probably ran the corner with a gun waiting to hem y'all up as soon as y'all walk out the door. But it didn't go down like that. I said, nah, I'm sorry. I see you. Okay. So I guess those two are going to flee to Mexico and do whatever they need to do to get out of Dodge because they know that this chick right here, as Got long as info. she stay in the um, United States, yep. she is gonna talk. She gonna talk. I ain't even mad. You know what? She got a soft, I got a soft spot in my heart for what I told y'all I did. Yeah, she was manipulated, man. She was put in a bad spot. She was trying to show the shirt along with all her heart <laughs> and all her soul and all her mind. She just trying to, trying to do his will so she can make it in and that good getting up morning. <laughs> and when she <laughs> and hey, they come want to do some schemes. She wanted to help her husband out because she wanted to be a blessing. She she, she wanted, wanted to be, be so she wanted to be submissive <laughs> to her husband. And they took it too got on far. When they started messing with Jacob Greenleaf, that's when they were taking it too far. I swear, she opened up their briefcase and all that money. Was she said, "Is that the money that Bishop gave you that you were supposed to invest for him? Is that the money?" <laughs> I said, "I said, stop talking. They're going to kill you." Yeah. <laughs> like somebody said, "You gonna come up shh, just, just shh, 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 put it back here. Just look, shh. look and record it in your brain. Say, yeah, do it like that. Yeah, snap, snap some Mr. Bishop. <laughs> so, but y'all, that whole exchange that they had in that house. Now, Coochie Cross just totally flipped on Coraline, told Coraline, said, I yeah. hope you rot in hell. I hope your kids go with somebody else that deserve to have kids because you don't deserve your kids you at all. And, be. and then told Gigi and said, oh, don't think that Joe Skip don't stick. I know, I know something about you. Say, I know what you did, Phoenix. I know like, what, what, what she doing, Phoenix? What she do? was a whore. And Phoenix, she was out there, she was out there tricking it. Tricking it. But she wouldn't be no different than her mama and her dad if she got Man. it, honestly. But I'm gonna tell you what, if you ever want to find out what somebody really think about you, make them mad. Piss them off. Make them mad. Piss them off. And they'll, they'll lick you up and down like chocolate candy, but they won't tell you the truth until they get pissed off. And then like, you be like, oh, that's how you really feel. That's how you about really it. feel, man. That's how you really feel. Oh. Yep. Oh, okay. Especially if they can shoot it right off the dome like, like that. Mm hmm. So Jacob ends up going home, and I don't know if this happened before or after, it doesn't matter. But Jacob ended up going home, oh it was after, to Clarissa. And he's sitting there, he's telling Clarissa because him and Gigi had had a conversation in the car earlier. And Gigi basically asked Jacob straight up, what happened between you and um, Keisha Cole Skanks? Oh, it was just a kiss. And he was real cavalier with it, like I told like, y'all that. Like, time, yeah, don't like matter. it was just a kiss, Gigi. It didn't mean anything. They ain't like y'all was in high school and and and, and y'all kissed by the yeah, locker. Uh -huh, yeah, this is real life. You, you, both of y'all real and married. You, and you could get <laughs> killed it over some stuff like that. <laughs> so Gigi was like, Jacob, when are you gonna grow up and stop doing this bullshit? Exactly. Like, and all of this. And then he's and then she was like, You love Clarissa, right? 
You do, he, right? He, he was, was like, he was real hesitant. He was like, well, all, he said all these uh, years. I yeah, said, no, 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 no. That ain't what she asked you. She yeah. asked you, did you marry? Then yeah. he got into his feelings and he started saying different stuff about how he kisses her and how he can feel the, you know, the bone structure of her face and all this. I wonder if anybody else would ever know what she looks like when she's asleep and nut. I mean, just went on this. Like this trip down memory lane that he should have been having with himself a long time ago, I don't but know. Just, but he still didn't really answer the question with a straight answer. But he did when he got to that house. And he did it and he bucked it up. Like yeah. like uh, Funky Doniva said, he bucked up the church's money. <laughs> he goes home and tells Clarissa, he was like, you know what, baby? I love you. I realize. I realize. I realize. Like, wait a minute. After 20 something years, you just, you just realizing it? You come home and tell me, Lynette, I love you. I realize I love you. You gonna realize that I'm gonna buck, buck cap your arm. Now, see, this is what he should have said. He should have said, baby, I love you, but today I realize that I love you in a way that I didn't know that I loved you. That's how you're supposed to spend it. But not saying <laughs> as if the like love a, won't dare in the beginning. It, it just showed up today, today when I thought about it. And he said, I was having a conversation with Gigi. She said, you realize? Now I need to take y'all back to season one and thank you, My Twisted Life with Poetry. Because I was watching her review last week. And I said, that's why it's good to watch your fellow YouTubers because sometimes they will bring up something that you had completely forgotten. Or what yeah. About. Um, did we not forget that in season one that Clarissa was having a little, little rendezvous with the dude that worked at the school? She sure was. So, um, Clarissa, I, I know that Jacob was wrong. But in the case of First Lady and Bishop, like I said, y'all just need to fight it out, drink some dark, have your moment, lay on the side of the bed and talk this skit out because both of y'all done did something wrong. Yeah. All y'all cheaters. Man. Yeah. And go get in somebody's counseling or something because Jacob got sex addiction or something. Yeah, something is really good. I mean, that sex addiction ain't bad as long as you have sex with the one you're supposed to have sex that, that with. That you committed to. That, but, you, that you signed the papers and say this is for life. But he, Or to death do his part. That same thing. <laughs> <laughs> don't have time so Clarissa was like you know what buck you buck your realize I want a god doing I'm, I'm sick of this I'm sick of this pain I said oh so we go we, we, we doing this I had just said that him see, and um Kishiko skate make a cute couple but I ain't mean break up no happy home see see so we can call her out on some on some mobile skit who that Clarissa uh, Clarissa when Jacob got that church and the first getting up good morning to go to that church she, she, uh, how can I put it? Cause it's fellatio. The, yeah, she did a little bit of fellatio early in the morning. <laughs> Where are we going with this? But now, Hair. all the skit done hit the fan. Now you don't want them no more. Cause yo, you feel like you're ready to lose your church. Lost your daughter. Now Jacob ain't the man that he's supposed to be now. But when he got that church, so is it really about Jacob or is it about the church? Just like Lady May. Ain't even about Bishop. Ain't about Jacob. It's about the goddamn church. I disagree. It's because the first thing she, she said, we the, we get ready to lose the church and we lost Sophia. So we I want a divorce. Up. Not that you kiss, kiss a cold skates and cheated with them other hoes. <laughs> she didn't say that. And I'm divorced. She said first the church. She even put the church over freaking Sophia. That ain't her name. Well, what if her name is? Zora the uh, Zor. floor. Yeah, even put the church. Where they do that at? Church. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I'm going with it. Both of them. <laughs> they want the church. Forget, over the family. Forget, yeah, forget them. Just give me the church. But you know, you get church, you, you gain a whole family. So you don't really need your family no more. You, you gain a whole family that half of them don't like you. <laughs> Leave and see how much they like you. <laughs> but at the same time, she told Jacob she wanted a divorce. Zora the Weed Explorer come falling in the door. Because earlier that day, she had had a conversation with Isaiah, the church player, and told him, listen, I'm right here being your cook. 
your cleaner, your <laughs> graphics designer, your administrative assistant. At least what you need to do is one, claim me in public, and two, I need a paid position. I said, oh, so now you starting to really think. I'm like, nah, that's, that's what your grandma and them tried to tell you in the beginning before you got the car stormed off after he disrespected them. So he was like, well, I'll talk to my people and da-da-da-da. So he came back all crazy doing what he had to do. And she was on her way out the door. She said, you know what? I'm leaving. I'm going back to my hometown. And this is over, basically. So he does what he does. He wants to try to start fighting up on her, beating up on her, do whatever. Push and shoving and da-da-da-da. So she thought quick on her feet. And I have to give it to Zora the yeah. weirdest boy for that one. She did his tactic, right? She did exactly what he did to keep them old, the, that uh -huh. old lady off his hind yep. mm -hmm. They're off of his hind parts out there at the gate. That's a good tactic right there, And that man. was a good tactic. She said, oh, see, I got you on live. Uh -huh. And anything you do to me, your whole fan base gonna see it. So yep. go ahead, put your hands on. Don't do it. Don't, don't do, do it. it. Don't he do couldn't it. even do nothing. He couldn't do nothing. But you guess what? And didn't this what this fool gonna say? Yeah, who? Oh, you gonna you? Sh oh, I should have gave it to your your um cousin. Like who she you talking about, Sophia? Who was he talking about, Sophia? He was talking about Sophia. Sophia don't want you. <laughs> yeah, I was like, when did that happen? She don't want you. She don't. So guess what? Um, Zora had to do. She had to call the very person. That she probably didn't want to call to rescue her out of some skin. Uh -huh. Ain't that how God works? Ain't yep. that how it works? Say, make your enemies your footstool. Hello. And she had to pick up at her goddamn Buick. Yeah. And picked up and brought her on home. But she ain't coming in that house, though. She dropped her off over there. Yeah. <laughs> she said, <laughs> call me later. Uh huh. Because what I'm not going to do is get in the middle of this with my Uncle Jacob. Hmm. And all that good skits. So I said, oh, okay. So this was, we finally got um, Zora home. I but I, but I wonder with Zora coming home, man, is that going to save Jacob's relationship? Because she just said, I'm going to get, I'm, I want to divorce. And then she hit it. And, and then she stumbled in the door. And then Zora hit it. Yeah, nine out of ten she did. I said, oh, Lord. So over there at the church, Bishop and Lady May having a face off because now we basically got to a point where Bishop knows that they're pretty much going to be off the hook because he had already told Gigi, listen, this little thing that y'all want me to play like I'm seeing now, like I really didn't know what was going on. I'm not fitting to do that. You want to know why I'm not fitting to do that? Because I'm not going to sit here and have them judging me at the church and telling me I'm not qualified to be senior pastor over here. I'd rather risk my life and go to jail than play see now. <laughs> Bill Cosby tried to play blind not to go to jail. But it didn't work. It didn't work. But at least you could have tried to be seen now. What's your name? Cletus. Uh, Cleophis. Uh, what's, what's my, my name is Red Leaf. <laughs> <laughs> say, say, what's the first book in the Bible? Job. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could have did something, Bishop, but you don't want to freaking lose that church. Mm -hmm. I tell you, go back to the church, man. And go ahead and learn to tell the man. I had a vision, and if you not connected with the Lord like the way I'm connected with the Lord, you ain't gonna understand and, and, what and vision see, he gave me, and, and it ain't jail. And see, this is what we do. <laughs> we will stand up there and say that the building is not the church, it's the people. But, why you but, when, but when you get ready to lose that song, B, <laughs> the people ain't the church, I'm gonna keep the building. Fuck all y'all. <laughs> But you know what it is? It's almost like a hostage situation. Yeah. Kind of already told him that the leaders want you gone because yeah. you're causing too much skit. And he said, hell no, I'm keeping all y'all motherfuckers. Yep. Whether y'all want to or not, <laughs> you're stuck with me. I'm here. I ain't yeah, going nowhere. I ain't going nowhere. Y'all go. That sounds like a pastor here in Richmond. Going on live and Facebook. He, de <laughs> he determined he going to get his church back. He don't care. If he can. He gonna be, they he was standing watch. in the media. <laughs> he was standing in the media because he can't go to church grounds no more. They don't bother him all. Bought them all. So he's standing in the media or alive. Pointing, you see my church right there in the background? He stole my church from me. Look, look. And I'm going, the Lord told me I'm going to get it back. Dude, if you don't take yourself somewhere, look. if you if God did it the first time, he can do it again. Why would you force yourself to get back to a place where they the don't people want don't you. want you? You believe in God to get back to a place where people <laughs> don't want you no more. That's a waste of belief and faith. <laughs> you just pissing it away. Pissing it all away. Use that way. same faith to ask the Lord to give you another building. Because after all, you are the church. And that's your message. <laughs>
for the day. Who am I offering that, y'all? Hello. <laughs> the prison doors have been open. Why are you still inside? <laughs> Y'all ever heard that song, man? That song bring it to you. Got doing these at altar call. I think, I think they wrote that song. Man. They did though. Cause I ain't heard that song. Yet. I heard it one other time. It's a song at altar call that we go to this Pentecostal church in North Carolina. Yeah. They sing the prison doors have been open. What are you still doing inside? Yeah. Listen. Even if you ain't had no skit that you had did, that song so powerful, you just walk up there like, Lord, I just want to be closer to you. I just want to walk through the, I just walk them, <laughs> walk through them prison doors, man, and come out He made a I'm way free. for me through glory, so dry your weeping eyes. That's the song. I said, all right. But anyway, Bishop and Lady Middle had his face off, right? But Bishop know that he ain't going nowhere. He not going to jail. <laughs> so he told Lady May, you have your day with Lady May. And I want you to storm off and ride out on the cloud of glory that's going to be trailing behind you and get the buck out. And she said, wait a minute, Bishop. No, I'm not. What I want you to do is stand up before the congregation and you announce me as co-pastor. Wait, so, here we so, go. so <laughs> what are we doing here? What? If my first lady and my pastor get a divorce, I don't want neither one of them beside each other on Sunday because I can't praise the Lord because I'm watching both of y'all. Yeah, because somebody might somebody might get the swinging. Uh, that's just the way my mind works. I know the Lord is good and he ain't the author of confusion, but y'all motherfuckers uh, is. I don't mean to wind the tape back, but wind I had to back. wind the tape back. See, I, I, I love Bishop to death. I do too. I, but I, don't, he I, don't, I, I don't want to see him hurt. I don't want to see him go to jail, man. Yeah. I see what they're doing to Bill Cosby, and I don't want that to happen to him. Well, Bill did it to himself. So, the lawyer and them in there trying to help him out. And he talking about the Lord gave me a vision the other night. I'm trying to tell you. And, and jail it, it won't the present, but it was the future. But I'm not going to tell you the vision, Gigi, because you don't believe in like the vision. Like I do. But you made me a. But, but I said that all to say, Bishop. If you don't want to go to jail, you better listen to what that lawyer is telling you. Because you on your way. Can you get up there and tell the judge all you want that you had a vision? And the judge will say, I got a vision, and I'll see you behind bars, and, I got a and that's in five minutes. Adjourn. Doof. But he knew, he knew Gigi was going to come through for him, and she did. So now he's talking all kind of cash money skit um, to First Lady. And he told First Lady, he said, oh, no, 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 no. No, didn't you tell me that won't they sin greater than the other? Both of us are sinners. That's why I will never. That's what we've been saying. That's what we've been saying right there the whole time. He said, I will never. <laughs> I said, well, God, don't. So I said, okay, so what, what we going to do with this? So whose sin is greater for what you did between what I did? <laughs> Which one is great? Who did the worst? Both of y'all need to be sad at. Uh-huh. And let and let Gigi run church or let he let, should, of, let Deacon kind of do it or something. He said, he who had no sin, let him cast the first stone. That's what he should have told her. And she would have been like. So, we finally at this day with Lady May. And we got Charity up there and she's singing. Man, she's singing that song, and she, man. This is really kind of like the first time that I've actually liked this. The singing sounds good. This was the first time that I was like, oh, they singing up in here. Yeah. I said, okay, go ahead, Charity. Go ahead and show them God doing them whining pipes that you got. I wish they would let her sing live though, because that throws me off every time. Mm -hmm. And then we they sing a change. That's one of my favorite songs. Yeah. And then here comes Patty LaBelle, because this ain't Maxine. This is Patty. Mm -hmm. Patty LaBelle is singing. And she he pissed me changed. off. What? She what? Said, she said, he changed. <laughs> and she would tiptoe uh, out there. Said, he changed. <laughs> 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 and I said, if you, at least if you're going to start that song all dramatic, start off on the right key. Wait. They gonna start way off off the beat and everything. I said, but they pulled it back together and they blew the song. They gotta keep up with that track, man. Yeah. So then, after the song was over, Maxine tells um, Charity, said, why don't you go ahead and introduce, you know, Lady May, your mom. So they went on and then here come Maxine. I'm gonna take it over from this point on here. <laughs> you all may know her as Lady May. She may know her as Mother. But today, 
she will be known as pastor. I said, no, 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 I no, said, uh -uh. no, 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 ain't, no, ain't, no, 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 ain't nobody install her to this be is... nothing in that church. <laughs> she is, this is not the initial yeah, sermon. Yeah, you, you can't come in there and install nobody. That's like somebody trying to come in my house and install a new kitchen sink without my permission. You got to go through them deacons. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> and then here come Lady May. She float up, floated up on that daggone thing like, uh -huh. like uh, when Romeo was calling Juliet. Uh -huh. She said, ooh. <laughs> I said, she so got no dramatic shoulder. Wow. I'm about to go. I'm about to piss y'all off. Uh, but yeah. I can say this because I'm a part of the church. Why all women that preach, why we got to dress like wizards? <laughs> why they always make us dress? I'm sorry. I've been wanting to say that for years, but won't nobody listen to me. Why we always got dressed like wizards? Or Chinese people? They want to look like an angel, man. Wizards ain't, Chinese, ain't, ain't angels. So the, the thing hang like, you know, like, like wings, man. I say, what we always got to do be this extra garb and all the bugs get. But anyway. Her whole message, she was preaching that herself, man. She was preaching an anti-male feminist movement <laughs> pro women sermon about taking your power back repositioning yourself and being loved by God and not letting a man define how God loves you based on a book and, you can and, read it for yourself and not to be fearful of going to hell <laughs> because your uncle was talking to him when she was little and put fear in the verse of love Cause she knows she don't repent for that skit. She know it that she going to hell. <clears throat> now check this out. Earlier, um, Aaron and Gigi had got together and decided that they were going to get swabbed down. They were going down there to Maury. Yeah. And Maury was going to see who the father was. Yeah, I, I said, good idea. Go on, go on, go on find out the truth, man. Cause your mama ain't going to do it. Now here's how upsetting, how upset Gigi is. Gigi ain't never really make it into the service. She was standing out there near the vestibule and she happened to look down at her phone and she realized that she got an email from the um, DNA, DNA diagnostic people and the results are in and she's scared and she went out there and she called Aaron and she was like, uh, I don't even know if I want to open this yeah. book sticker. At this mm. point, this is a life changing thing. And she said, I realized that I'm just like them. I'm just like her. Aaron was like, what you mean by that? Trying to hide skin. Hide the truth. So it kind of went on before we realized who her daddy is, but we know it's Lionel. Yeah. It's Lionel. We've been saying this since season one. Yep. So <clears throat> while First Lady May is out there preaching her uh, pro woman song sermon, we got Bishop in the back getting him the hell up <laughs> by Basie. Now, I've been saying all up and through these goddamn reviews. As big as this church is and as powerful as they make us believe that these people are, where are the armor barrels for this church? Exactly. Everybody just floats in and out of Calvary. I went to Calvary last Sunday <laughs> and I was sitting there in Gigi's office waiting for her to show up. She didn't show up. <laughs> it's so free flowing up in there. Yep. He went in there and pulled <laughs> out a gun on Bishop and said, I'm here to do what the Lord was too, too selfish, selfish to do, do himself. I was like, ooh. Said, ooh. Y'all preacher could come up with some goddamn one liners, man. <laughs> said, ooh. I said, oh, okay. But I think all of us to men there though. Yeah. When you felt like the Lord was supposed to have had your back, man. Yeah. Take care of some 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 ninjas for doing some stuff to you. Yeah, because I'd be like, you take care of me when I do uh -huh. stuff to other people. But what about them? But sometimes it ain't for us to see God's judgment on other people. Yeah. And sometimes they suffer in silence behind closed doors. They look they look cool and cute in your presence. But you never know what they're going through behind closed doors and yeah, what their spirit is really going through. Because one thing you can't run from, you can't run from yourself. Can't run from yourself. Wish you could sometimes. Sometimes yeah. I wish I could trade myself in, trade man, and, and, and <laughs> get an upgraded model. But I ain't built like that. It is what it is. So... Now here come Bishop. This is the only thing that's gonna actually save Bishop at this moment. It's because he I'm not gonna say what I wanna say. He has the gift of gab. Yes, he does. Mm -hmm. 
but he also has I am going to say it. He has what a lot of preachers have is the gift of manipulation. Mm -hmm. And he knows what to say, mm -hmm. what triggers, and what things <clears throat> that you've dealt with and yeah. what you're dealing with. Uh -huh. He knows how to and turn. Yeah. And turn. Uh -huh. Until you start opening it up just like this. And then he can talk his way out, out of this it. wet paper mm -hmm. bag that he just wet up his God doing so. Yeah. So that's what he's doing with base. It was like base. No, what you don't want to do is do this. I did not mean to kill your dad. And if you kill me, then you, you're basically going to deal with two deaths, the deaths of your father and the death of yourself. I mean, he's just going on and on. You can see basically like he being taken aback. He get himself back together. Cause you got two people with two manipulating spirits going back and forth with each other. Yeah. Which one going to win? We don't know what Bass is going to do because he came back and he was like, mm-mm, motherfucker. Bishop, you got to die. You got to die today. So, we don't know we what's going to happen, happen until, like, I don't know if it comes on next week. But yeah, I, you said do. I, I wasn't expecting for him to do that, though. Nah. I didn't see, I didn't see, yeah, I didn't see him. Yeah. I, I don't think he's going to do it, though. <laughs> because if I recall, the um, preview for next week was basically sitting in his chair and talking to Jacob and Bishop, if I'm not mistaken, don't, mm -hmm. don't quote me on it. Cause I was, I was looking at this at work again today. Yeah. Um. So it was the day of reckoning. So I don't know what first lady gonna do. She did a high right job. I'm not licensing her because she got a whole lot of work. It, yeah. it all looked play play. Yeah. It was all, it was all. It was all to get, getting them women on her side. That's what she was doing. Uh -huh. She getting on her side. So when it gets presented to the to the deacon boy, nigga said she did a she, she did, did a good on. job. Cause most time it goes to the deacons and then the deacons bring it to the church. So y'all and vote. all the women gonna say yes, we want her. And they gonna go down. We to wanna the be court. free. <laughs> <laughs> Put a make her pastor until she sits you down. Exactly. So very good episode. So we we still don't know who Gigi's biological father is. I think Faith is my um, 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 daughter too, man. I we ain't never going to find that one out. We still don't know what's going to happen with Basic. We, and Bishop, I, I don't, we, Clarissa, throw the whole church away. I want to know where, where, uh, where, where Mavis is at. She, yeah. she, she left in her little Ford Taurus and she just, after she lost the bar and after, uh, what you call it now, she gone, she ain't came back. I, so maybe she might show back up next week. I don't know. So my thing is now, <clears throat> what they gonna do with um Kishiko Skanks? Now that Basie and Rose supposed to go off to um, Mexico to avoid the law, she gonna be stuck there like she was before. She gonna marry Jacob if <laughs> Carissa leave him. <laughs> Cause you know ain't but two churches in that town. She okay. either gonna go over to the Greeley to Calvary or she gonna go back to Trop. Or she gonna go to H&H. &H. What is that? What was that? What was it? High Hopes? What's that? The the guy that she had over the, the deacon that deacon has had over there kind of <laughs> what a name. I don't know what it was. But Bishop ain't want no parts of that organization. He nah. said he said we are full gospel. <laughs> we don't go under anybody's own. And we love. independent. We are very independent, which I'm with Bishop on that one. Yeah. Yeah, ain't nothing like being under organization. No rules, no rules. No rules and no dues. Yeah, hey, <laughs> let the church say amen. Let it say amen. Straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. Two up, two down. Holla. Holla.